the earth needs things quickly. And most of those solutions exist right now. And we're helping to surface those things and to make them as easy and accessible as possible to as many people inside organizations that are there to do good work, not implicitly drive change, which is where once you start talking about innovation, it goes, that's just for a small segment of my organization. This is for everybody to make sure that it's as easy as possible to get impactful change, even if it's as simple as this cell needs to be changed in a document to make a process work more slickly. Like that's where real impact comes. Yeah. And you're also running a hundred people organization, right? So can you share like one big challenge or pain point that you face, like from outside the organization, like marketing in what you were just talking about, but also as the organization yeah. scales, what's the one big challenge or pain point for you within the organization? So and, and actually we're a very interesting business because we're just under a hundred people in terms of full-time equivalent employees. But as part of the work that we do, I have a global network of just under a million people who we tap into on behalf of our clients to drive innovation. That's a product we call the Wazoku crowd. And those are inventors, innovators, entrepreneurs. So to a degree, we're a hundred people. To another degree, we're 700,000 people that can scale up or down as required from an organizational perspective. The complexity from my side is, I guess, twofold, right? One is during COVID, we flipped from being a very founder-led business that was driven around a headquarters in London, a satellite office in, in the UK, but in Bristol, to a truly global organization with a truly global talent base. And that comes with a very different type of organizational structure and a different type of leadership approach as well. The ability to convene people once a year for comms in person versus the ability to get them together every single day if you need to is a different challenge, right? And running a global business that's 100 people is in some ways not vastly different, I think, to running a global business that's 100,000 people because of that complexity. 